love collective welcome back to the ascender divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Oh, I think I missed a card in here. Okay. Well, I don't know. It was, I don't think it matter where it goes. <clears throat> The message will come out like it's supposed to. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed and highly favored because you are. Um, so there may be like a <clears throat> a deceased man that's trying to get in contact with people. Um, I had a dream last night where it's like there's this older gentleman, probably in like his late seventies, early eighties, um, that passed away. He used to be in the milita military. Um it said he was trying to contact the physical world, but when he would try to touch things, uh, let's say like these cars are here and he's trying to touch them, it's like some type of gap. He can't touch it. Like he's trying to figure out how to get in contact with family members and friends. When I saw him, he was in a bathroom. Um, it was like one of those long bathrooms. I'm literally like standing in front of the mirror um, on this wide sink counter. There's like a bunch of jewelry uh, sitting there and he's trying to touch it. But I don't think he's trying to do anything malicious. He's just trying to let someone know that he's there. He may be trying to contact his wife um, just to let her know that he's there. He's trying to talk to her. He's trying to communicate something to her. Uh, this would be like a couple, I believe, that own a business together. Um, they have like a lot of people working for them. There's something about marketing. Um... So in the dream, what I saw is like a group of people and it was so weird. It was an odd setting. They were outside. I don't know if they went on like a company company retreat or something. And there were two women of color talking about marketing and someone was thanking them for all of their work and things like that. And I was kind of just off to the side watching everything played out. But there was some type of disconnect. It's like people were there talking about the gentleman that had passed away. Um, but it's like there's some, there was something missing. Um, they didn't quite know how to handle what had happened. Like they were heartbroken, but there was some type of gap in the emotions, but it's like, he's trying to contact his loved ones. He's trying to contact, I don't know if it's his wife. I don't know if you two went on retreats a lot or you went, uh, on vacations a lot or something. I'm hearing something about the word paradise or something in paradise so you two must have went on a lot of vacations together i don't know if that word is supposed to be significant to you um but i heard the word paradise or in paradise we will meet in paradise or meet me in paradise something of that nature but he is trying to contact you all um to kind of let you know of something i don't know it's some type of a uh, decision or uh, directive order he put in place was violated or I don't know what's going on, but he's trying to contact you all. And if you notice something where it's that things are, maybe you feel like an energy around you. Uh, it may feel a little frustrated or something like that. That's him. He's not angry. He's just kind of frustrated that he's not able to get in contact with you or he's trying to contact people. But it's like no one is able to see or hear what he's doing. Uh, it may be that like maybe his family, kids, and wife are not as in tune um, spiritually or they just don't believe in things like that. Um, so they're not paying attention to any of the like signs he's giving them to let them know that he's there, especially the wife. I think whatever he's doing as far as the spirituality, trying to contact him, it makes her feel uncomfortable. So she may not even be trying to even pay attention to any of that stuff. She's just like, oh, it's just kind of, something is really weird, but she doesn't know what the weird energy is. So, but your husband is trying to get in contact with you to let you know of something that's that was done in the background that you may not be aware of and he's not happy about it. Um, it also seemed like he was on, there was, there was this weird uh, thing that took place 
It said for a moment he was physical and could talk to people, but he had a time limit. You know, like that Cinderella story where it's like by midnight, uh, everything is going to go back to normal for her. It was something of that nature. Like he had a glimpse of time uh, where he had something to do, I guess, to make his presence known or the gift of message. I don't know if he missed the time the time limit or whatever, but as soon as he, he was trying to touch something, like, there was that gap, like, a void took place in between. Like, you know how they say kinetic energy? Uh, you're not really touching stuff, but this is, like, so I don't know how to call it, but it's like he couldn't touch it. There was some type of barrier between him and the physical world, but he's trying really hard to get in contact with you all, Okay. Hopefully, he can find someone. <laughs> I'm guessing that would be me. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I hope he can find peace and get his message across. But there's something about, like, assets or whatever it is. But he's trying to make his voice known to you to let you know that something malicious was done when it comes to his will, when it comes to his directive order, whatever it is. Uh, anyways, we have, uh, there could be someone coming towards the King of Pentacles with an offer, um, some type of friendship offer or something of that nature that has to do with, um, uh, assisting a woman of wealth, uh, to keep holding on to something that belongs to someone else. So she's coming towards you to give you an offer of friendship, right? Uh, this is very disingenuous. Someone may be having a hard time finding people to help her um do something but she wants to come towards you to have you uh control or keep something stagnant that belongs to a queen of pentacles i don't know what this woman's issue is now i've been trying to get away from this situation but yesterday i was sitting and doing some reflection and what source told me is that there is some type of investigation going on and that i need to cover this situation until it is over so i don't know the Cause I'm really tired of this energy, you all. It's just, it's just this, this energy here. This, this woman, this woman of high honor. This is a very toxic and malicious energy. And every time I look into this woman's energy, it's like everything just goes black. It's like someone is very hateful. Like it, I don't like this energy, so I'm trying to get away from it. But there's something where source is wanting me, or spirit is wanting me to keep covering this situation until it is resolved so i guess that's what i'll be doing um what i have planned for my platform is something that it's like it's scheduled for the durate du, 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 <laughs> oh, the durity of my platform so the entire lifespan of my platform i've scheduled it to the point where like i'm never out of like ideas to do reads and things like that like everything is scheduled and that's what i wanted to do but spirit is wanting me to cover this situation because i think it's very essential to someone's life or to a community or just something is going on that needs to be resolved um and source wants me to keep covering it and i'm gonna do my best to cover it um for as long as possible but it's just like some of these people, their energy is just so negative um, because I'm someone with all the clairs. So when I'm picking up on people, it's not that I'm just feeling their energy. It's like I can see uh, the person. I can hear them. So it's really hard for me to keep doing this with them. So I'm going to be obedient and listen. But yesterday when I was... <laughs> I was sitting and it was just an investigation. You got to see it through. This is very important. Uh, something is playing out in divine order. We need you to cover this. We need you to finish this. So here I am. <laughs> okay, so this woman is coming towards this king of pentacles to give him some type of friendship offer. She's going to come off as a friend because there's some type of ulterior motive behind what it is that she wants. She's coming off as a friend, but there's something that she wants from him, basically. It's that we cannot be friends with you. She's not going to say cannot be friends with you, but she's going to do things where it says she's going to go into establish a friendship with this king of pentacles so that he can enable her or help her hold on to something that does not belong to her. So basically help her steal what belongs to somebody else or help her control or keep what belongs to somebody else. There's a woman that's taking from someone else and it does not belong to her, right? 
So I'm going to use the platform, for example. Let's say you own a platform. There's a woman that has someone uh, stealing from you. Uh, well, oh, she has someone accessing a platform for her. Uh, she's not supposed to have access to this platform, but she has people that she's paying in order to access their platform and play with the numbers, make sure that the platform is not growing or something of that nature. So maybe this is someone's truth that's being exposed. Maybe you don't know how to voice your opinion or something, or this is something a lot of content creators are going through. It's not just one content creator. Like I said, I've mentioned before in my uh, in one of my videos, there's a lot of divination uh, channels that are being attacked by like malicious people. It's not just one person. There's a woman out here that is stern, approved that when you leave the company that she's with, you don't make it anywhere else. It's what I've picked up on. So if you worked for a company previously and you left that company, she does not want the members of that or the workers in that community, the employees within that community, to believe that you can uh, survive, you can thrive, you can live a successful life once you leave that company. It's like you being in that company is your final destination. It's some type of malicious way of controlling people's lives. So what this woman does is goes behind the scenes and connects with people. When you leave her company, it's not really her company. It's someone else's company. They hire her to uh, work in the company, but she sees it as her company because this is someone that's delusional. Um, what she does is goes goes behind the scenes and tells people not to hire you. If you start a business, she's paying people to destroy your business um, so that when the other employees that are still in that company sees you work, sees you, they see that your business is, is destroyed. You don't have any job. No one's hiring you. There's just something very malicious. And this is someone that does it from behind the scenes. Very malicious. Very, uh, 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 just really evil and wicked. Okay. For some of you, this is someone who stole an inheritance from you, some type of property or money from you. <clears throat> and she does not want people to know, right? So she's doing something where it says she's paying people behind the scenes to block you, block you from receiving your abundance, block you from receiving assistance, block you from having any type of communications with people, connections with people. If this King of Pentacles wants to work with you, she's paying him to basically turn his back on you, to reject you. She does not want him being friends with you because with the Knight of Cups out here, this will be someone that sees you as someone very genuine, a good friend, someone compassionate, a loyal person, very healing to be around, something of that nature, right? But she is going to come in because this is how she operates. She is going to come in and tell him that she'll pay him to... Uh, 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 to turn his back on you. She'll pay him this amount of money uh, so that he does not uh, be friends with you. So this is someone that buys friendship. So basically someone has a bunch of clients that she thinks are friends. They're not really her friends because she has to pay these people in order for them to even want to have anything to do with her. This is a, like a facade walking about. And someone is very burdened about you being bountiful in life. Just like I said, she does not want you being happy, being fulfilled because she has been blocking people's destinies in a sense for a long time in a company by doing malicious things behind the scenes so that it can make it seem like, oh, we are the only company that's worth working for. Once you leave us, nothing else is really worth your time. Uh, no one wants to hire you, but that's because she's doing something. This woman has networked with a lot of different communities to make sure that Whoever leaves her company, you don't get a good job. If you start something for yourself and she finds out, she's going to take measures to destroy that. It's a collaboration within a community to block some type of abundance, block some type of connection. Whether it's a marriage or two people coming together, but you two will still come together because Source is balancing this situation out. Your, your angels are balancing this situation out. Whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with is watching you. So they may be aware of what is going on uh, and they may be trying to figure out how to get in contact with you. But rest assured that something will be coming to uh, an end. This game out sideways. Um, but I'm telling you, she's coming in to give him a friendship and it's a friendship of betrayal. Uh, she wants him to plot against you. She wants him to destroy what it is that belongs to you. Someone is very malicious, jealous, and insecure. 
uh, may not have as much money as she's pretending to have. There's something where it's like this woman is very money hungry, very desperate, and she's very worried if this King of Pentacles is going to do what it is that she's hiring, hiring him to do. Um, she's hired a lot of people before to um, do this, to destroy you, to reject you, uh, just all kinds of stuff. It may even be people not wanting to work with her anymore, uh, but she's under some type of judgment herself. And this King of Pentacles may be someone in the upright with this uh, judgment car below him. And she may be worried that he's not going to do what she's trying to pay him to do. I'm telling you, this is someone very devilish. This woman of high honor is very devilish, very uh, toxic, obsessive, uh, very determined to have something go in her way. Uh, this is someone very greedy, very uh, uh, jealous, just walking around with a lot of anger, a lot of anxiety because something has caught up to her. She is trapped in something. She is not able to move forward. She's trying to block you from being able to move forward. She does not want you being victorious. Um, like she wants you to feel uncertain. Okay. Like she does not want you to feel like you have any willpower in your life, any directions in your life. There could be something where she is going through financial insecurities or this is what she's about to go through. Uh, this is what she's trying to manifest for you or to keep going on in your life. This is something she's been doing for quite a while. Okay. So she and whoever else is in this collaboration with her, they are very much worried. Um, it's like, when are you going to do this? I paid you to do this. Or why aren't you paying? Why aren't you doing this? When do you plan on doing it? Like they're, they're trying to pressure him into doing something. Maybe he doesn't want to do it, but I don't know with this judgment out here by the uh, devil, this person could have made some type of decision to hinder your forward movement. And it's something that's going to backfire on them um, because the truth is going to be exposed. Okay. Uh, there is a woman within a community that may be, I don't know if she's going within trying to choose some type of new direction, but there is still someone paying uh, energy out here to cause you blockages, still mixed. Uh, still causing conflicts and things of that nature. Someone may choose to come towards you and tell you the truth, but you don't know when that's going to happen. It's that whenever people try to come towards you and connect with you, there's some type of blockage that's going on. So maybe someone's trying to figure out the best way to get in contact with you. Uh, you may be someone that's very hard working. You're focused on your, your work, your skills, your craft, and all of that. But all of this is going on behind the scenes of you, and you may not be aware Whoever this woman of high honor is, because this is not someone that's wealthy in her own rights. This is someone that has to steal in order to be wealthy. Okay. There, this woman, I don't know what it is about her, but there's something very dark. Someone does nothing but lie, manipulate, uh, deceive. Something, something about her is just, I don't, I can't get my finger on it, but it's very dark. Okay, uh, she may not be able to move forward. There's some type of success she thinks that she's had over you when it comes to causing still miss or you receiving some type of offer or you having some type of new beginning and it's something that's going to backfire on her. I don't know if someone doesn't realize that they're digging a grave for themselves because at the end, destiny is still going to play out. You're still having this new beginning and she's still going to be exposed for everything that she's been doing with a queen of wands, a queen of pentacles, reverse. everybody in this situation, in this community is in reverse. And they are still taking actions to try to steal something from you. And it's something that's going to expose them horribly and it's going to lead to an ending for them. This woman is still paying people behind the scenes. I'm telling you, all of this keeps coming out reverse with this friendship. This is not a solid friendship. This is not a genuine friendship. This is someone that's a joke walking. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, that's someone that's a joke. Someone that doesn't take anything serious. Their personality is a bit of a clown, clown, clownish personality. That's that people that, you know, you're around them. They just I agitate you for no reason because like they, they're not even of any substance. These are people that think highly of themselves, but they don't have any substance to themselves. Uh, so she may have made some type of um, judgment to make sure that you don't get something. You don't get an offer. 
every time someone's trying to come towards you, she's doing something to sabotage that possibility. And all of this is going to be exposed or is being exposed with the Ace of Pentacles out here. There is something that's being known that's been known um about what this woman has been up to there's some type of ending going on in a community uh there's an ending coming to being i think with like a king of source a police if it's a police officer fbi whoever or just someone of authority working with a group of people it is over um i don't I, literally i really don't <laughs> know how to even like sometimes phantom this energy because this is a lot of investments into blocking one person or just a selective group of people a niche it's like they want to block all definitioners they want to block all practitioners because if they make it look like they're just coming after you then it's a problem then people are going to say oh you really were coming after that person so what they came up with is to come after a bunch of different platforms so you can make it look like it's not something personal it is personal it don't matter how many people you come after it's personal because the people you're coming after they're putting a lot of work into their platforms growing a youtube ain't easy it ain't easy it is it's personal for every practitioner you're coming after it's personal something may end up turning federal if this goes to court you're losing miserably like someone's the, the light workers you are coming after are going to win that case for flying colors like i don't know what kind of hate you have in your heart but you may want to go find some healing because your insecurities is leading you to a dead end and to into a grave that you've been digging for yourself you're being advised to walk away take charge of your life stop trying to steal what belongs to other people this is how you've gotten to where you are i'm picking up on another energy within a community something is being exposed about her she's not gifted talented or anything in any sense of the word this is someone that steals from a lot of other people okay um and i don't know how she's been getting away with this for a long time but this is how she makes money she steals other people either intellectual property creativity businesses and things like that and puts it up as her own so she's stealing your content and she has your, your channel that's being blocked so that she can keep pretending like she's the innovator or something. It's really embarrassing to be like this, but this is how she is. And she's worried about you receiving some type of communication that's going to clarify things for you and bring some type of Ten of Pentacles to your attention. You are going to have this Ten of Pentacles Empress. You will be victorious. You are victorious and you will have endless opportunities when it comes to work, right? So just pick carefully choose wisely with the offers that you choose to go with but this is someone that's very envious of you this is someone that considers themselves to be of of the higher uh higher class higher social class but this is someone low vibration does not even belong what i'm hearing is this woman doesn't even belong in a community does not belong in a, a, a an institution because her energy is just so toxic disgusting like people may even be repulsed by this woman and maybe she doesn't know it because when people see her it's nothing but jealousy someone could be in like an upright community but the way she carries herself it turns people off right so they may be looking at her like she does not belong here she's the problem everybody else is trying to work together she's the only one that does not want to work together or she's the only one that has a problem with this person so we need to remove her from the situation there's some type of uh laws coming for her as far as as her work you may end up losing some type of work if there's a court case coming up you're gonna lose that court case miserably like i said we have the chariot out here in the reverse Something is not going in your favor. You're trying to trap people. They're not trapped. I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles, maybe he's choosing not to. Like he's choosing to heal, to recover. And he has her pissed up that he wants to recover or re reconcile with you. Like he has made the judgment to reconcile with someone. Maybe bring the truth to someone. And she's pissed off about that. Like, how dare you? Well, please don't do that. I'm going to go to jail or I'm going to end up in a lot of problems you should have thought of that before you went around paying people to cause blockages for other people there's some type of lie this woman was telling which is why other people were working with her but now that the lie is exposed people don't want to work with her there she knows there's a problem there's a tower 
at uh, coming up for her. There's some type of problem she cannot avoid. And again, if this is someone that has been in some type of industry where she's been benefiting off of other people's work, it's over for her. That someone has a lot of issues coming in that she does not know that she has created for herself. These kind of people is like talking to a rock, talking to a wall. Because these are entitled people. The world has enabled and allowed them to be entitled for a long time. So that's all they know and they think it's okay. But something is about to be exposed or there's some type of privacy playing out for an empress. You could be, excuse me, you could be the empress collective, uh, divine uh, being, man or woman. You know, energy is fluid in terror. Excuse me, I had something on my lip. Uh, you know, energy is fluid in terror, but there's something that's going to be playing out in your favor. Um, there's some type of abundance coming towards you. And this is what's pissing her off. She said, like, I don't want anyone partnering up with this person. Yeah, I don't want anyone uh, 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 giving to this person. I don't want anyone balancing. Who are you? Who the who the F are you? Shut up and sit down somewhere. I see it why it's in la bouche. Anyways, um, so this is someone that's lying to a whole community. She may even be jealous of a divine couple union that's supposed to come together. Like someone is very jealous. This is someone probably insecure, single, rejected. People don't want to really date her if she's not bringing money, which is why I'm saying someone has a bunch of clients that she thinks are friends. They're not really friends. It's the money that they get from you. That's all they care about. They don't like you. There's something about her they don't like. But she's very jealous of a divine union that's supposed to come together that's going to be based on genuine uh, energy. Like these two people are going to be genuinely friends, genuinely be uh, partners, genuinely work together, genuinely thrive together, have some type of Ten of Cups ultimate fulfillment situation going on. And they're going to be having some type of new beginning together after they come have some type of one-on-one -on -one talk, bring some type of clarity into a situation. And it has her pissed up. Like, this is someone very envious. Like, she's envious of your Ten of Cups. Uh, that she knows is going to lead to a Ten of Pentacles. Like, she's very jealous. Very jealous. I don't know if someone presented themselves to be a certain way. And maybe a man went with her for some of you. He went with her because she pretended to be uh, rich, classy, or something of that nature. But maybe the, the cat's out the bag. I don't know, the tricks, all the tricks are falling out the bag and he's just seeing her for the demonic, the demonic creature that she is. Okay. Um, so it's going to be real interesting when all of this plays out because I am now I kind of want to know like these two people she's trying to block from coming together. They're coming together. They've always been destined to come together. I don't know what she thought she was doing. I guess <laughs> wasting her money, entertaining us and all of that. I'm telling you. Lots of gossiping. She does not want people looking into you. She does not want people watching you. It's some type of very malicious energy. It's just a lot of jealousy. You don't. You probably don't even know this woman. And that's been the recurring theme for the past three months. You don't know this heifer, but she's very focused on you because she wants to be the head honcho of something. Or she wants to be seen as the all-powerful, irrelevant biash or something. Come on now. But there's a lot of gossiping going on. She always got something negative to say about you. Uh, there's something where she does not want people seeing you. She's trying to hide you. Block your victory. Block your forward movement. Uh, this is like something just very cunning. Someone's going to end up owing, owing you a lot of money. Um, I don't know if there's like another king of pentacles. It's like someone has two paths that he can take. He can either choose to make the right decision and reconcile with you. Or uh, he can keep doing something, uh, believe her lie, partake in the lie, keep lying with her, keep doing some malicious act with her. I mean, he, that means he participated in something already. He can keep doing that and keep lying, keep hiding you or something of that nature. And he can stay binded to her because that's what's about to happen. And whatever court case comes out of this, he's going to be involved as well. So they will all be in the same pot. And there's no one in the court system that's going to help you. I heard someone say we have connection in the court, court system. They won't be able to help you. As a matter of fact, whoever you have in the court system, they want you to know when you get cut, when all this comes out, they're not helping you. In those exact words, they are not helping you. He said, I'm not helping you. If you get cut, it comes out, everything gets exposed. If this is exposed, I'm not helping you. So just, just know that. And which should be part of the reason why you end up losing their court case. 
they ain't gonna help you. You're very insecure. Absolutely insecure. Yeah. And then you got a queen. Man, come on. It's just too much. You got a queen of pentacles that's mad because someone does not want to reconnect with her. She's trying to block some type of meeting from happen happening between two people. That's why we have this two of swords out here by the follow by the is uh six of cups reverse. They're trying to stop a meeting from happening. There's something they did to block two people from meeting. Block some type of reconciliation. They don't want someone thinking of you as like genuine, compassionate, a genuine friend, someone to connect with, someone to work with, someone that's his equal or her equal. They are trying to stop you two from meeting. But like I said, it is still going to take place. You're still going to meet. In divine timing, you got a bunch of women just coming up another against another woman uh, because of jealousy and insecurity. They don't want to hear the truth, more than likely, which is also why they're trying to have you hidden. These people have been living a facade for a long time, and the facade is being exposed either by you if you're on a social media platform or you work with these people in a 9 to 5. They've been lying their whole lives to be something they're not, Okay. And it's all being exposed either by you because of the way you carry yourself or the things you say, whatever it is. It's exposing these these uh incubus, succubus spirits for who it is that they are and it's bothering them. So it's a group of women. It could be like four or five women that are intimidated and bothered by you. You are unbothered. You don't know them from Adam, but they know you. Um, so they've been taking action. They took something personal that maybe didn't even have anything to do with them. They are trying to control something that has nothing to do with them. Think of like a platform like this. I don't know a goddamn person. I don't told you all. I am a, 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 a one man show. I don't got friends. Family stay out of state. So it's just like my kids and I. But maybe if we go missing, somebody will know. Okay. Um, think of a platform like this. Where it's like it has nothing to do with them. But they are so intimidated. They're so bothered. Let's say they're so bothered by my energy. The fact that I build on my own. The fact that I establish on my own. I develop on my own. I'm not asking for him. I'm saying things like that no matter how difficult it may be. Things like that bothers these kind of insecure women. Because these are women with their hands out. These are women that have to steal. These are women that have to bribe to get things to go their way. Meanwhile, I don't have to do all of that. I can get out, put in the hard work, and get something out of it. Like I've always said on my platform, I'm not partnered up with anyone. I didn't give permission to anyone to access my platform. Nothing. Because my platform is one of the ones that's being hit as well. I didn't give permission to anyone, right? So something like that. They've involved themselves in when it has nothing to do with them. Okay, so if they're out here making judgment on platforms and things like that, this don't got nothing to do with them. Like you literally wouldn't know who these people are, but they are going around trying to make decisions on your life. But you've done nothing to them. They're telling people a bunch of lies and things like that to get them to work with with them so that they can destroy you, but you've never done anything to them. Anything they're telling people is based on a lie. There's nothing true about it. It's something like that, okay? Um, and it's all going to come out. These people keep taking some uh, reckless action, impulsive actions against, like, divinationals. Maybe that's why Spirit is telling me to keep going with this, because this is something a lot of practitioners are going through, with these kind of malicious character out here, characters uh, out here, just attacking people for no reason. But they want to make it seem like, oh, she did this to me. He did this to me. Nobody did anything to these people. It's all a lie. They are insecure. That's all it is. They're bothered by other people who are independent. People that are self-sufficient. People that are self-minded. People that are individual. Like People that don't live in the matrix. They're not part of the matrix. It bothers them because when people like the the individuals come around, it exposes the truth about these kind of characters. So because you are there, they can't keep pretending to be something that they are not. So they got to eradicate you, eliminate you so that they can keep fathering their dishonest pictures that they're selling. Okay. This is someone that will put herself out as a queen of cups. This woman of high honor. 
This is someone who put herself out as a queen of cups so that people can partner up with them. She ain't a queen of cups. This is a facade. People, someone knows how to pretend to be what she needs to be to get what she needs out of people. You ain't, you two are not friends. You two are not, uh, uh nothing more than a, a business transaction. But when she needs something from you, what is she going to say? Oh, my friend or some nuts. Oh, that's, that's my good friend. We're buddies. You ain't buddies. It's a business transaction. You better listen to your intuition because there's conflict going on behind the scenes. Something is being exposed about these people. They're pissed off fighting because something is going to be balanced. Two people still will be coming together. These are extremely two strong people. They are very disciplined as heck. They are very disciplined. They will still be coming together, working together. Something will be balanced out in the nick of time. So I don't know what it is that these people think they're doing. Like they're so afraid for two people to come together, fall in love, build something together. I don't know what this is. It's a little girl, little boy in, uh, energy that I do not resonate with. And that's part of the reason I've been trying to stop doing this because it's just so immature. I would be embarrassed, embarrassed to be out here doing stuff like this. Can you imagine one of your kids asking you, what did you do again? Oh, I paid people to block her, uh, block his uh, forward move movement, block his business. Uh, I told lies and things like that about them. I didn't want people connecting with them. And they ask you, why would you do that? What do you tell them? Oh, I did it for the family. No, you didn't. And that child is going to see right through you. Your no kids are smarter than we are. They're going to see you see right through you. That's one, that's one of those moments your kids see you for the nothing that you are. And they just put their heads down. They don't want to be associated with you because they just see you for the monster that you are. But you're you're there trying to uh, uh, validate your actions. But, but you're trying to pull logic into it. But you know very well that kid sees right through you, and it leaves you feeling empty. This kind of person don't care. That should let you know where she is. I'm telling you, these two are still coming together. Baby, every time I split this deck, it came out. <laughs> Ooh, it came out. <clears throat> yeah, they're unhappy because I said it. They came out. It came out. They're coming together. Whoever you're trying to block, when the most high is ready for them to meet, they're going to meet. Maybe the brother that's trying to meet with the sister, I'm just saying brother, sister. I don't mean that they're literally brother or sister. For some of you, it could be a brother that's trying to reach out to you that you haven't seen in years, never met before, and they're trying to block him. Uh, maybe you two were ad adopted separately or one of you were, were placed for adoption and he's trying to reconnect with you. Maybe people are blocking him. But you two will connect in due time. Uh, but this divine couple here, they're going to connect when they're supposed to in divine timing. Everything they've been trying to do is entertainment for the spirit realm, okay? There could, this could be a situation where the divine masculine has been trying to meet with the divine feminine. And there's something I said on this platform before that something is going to happen accidentally, okay? Because on a cosmic level, nothing is really accidental. It's all something that is divinely orchestrated. But from a human standpoint, how this is going to happen is going to be something that's very accidental, coincidental. It's like, oh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just here spending time with my kids or something. It's like it's going to be something that's unplanned, okay? And so what they've been doing behind the scenes is having people follow you around, trying to see where you're going so that they can make sure he's not there or you're not there for you two to meet. It's something very meticulous, but it's all going to be a waste of time because you two are destined to be together, okay? Like they, they're trying really hard to stop you from having wish fulfillment, limit your option, blocks this ten of pentacles. But that's exactly what you have coming in. The decisions, right? This man who, if, if it's this king of pentacles, he's extremely embarrassed or angry at the fact that he helped this person all based on a lie. Okay, if this is someone that's in the upright, yeah. So he has two pathways right down that he can choose. You can either choose to do the right thing and have yourself a family, uh, settle down or something, or you can keep being dark and toxic and whatever else you've been doing and keep gossiping because I don't know why there are men that likes to gossip, but apparently you've been out here gossiping about your own soul twin. Don't make no sense, but you know, pop off, pop off, sir, pop off. Anyways, uh, 
yeah, a decision has been made. You two will build a ten of pentacles together if you come together or this is the opportunity that you had in the past, but you left your twin flame out in the cold um, for something really dark. You didn't know you were you were destroying your own destiny is what I'm hearing. Because you destroy your twin flame or your soulmate, you destroy your own destiny. When, when, when the source do it, you see how they be having stuff set up? You're out here trying to destroy a woman. The whole time, you don't know that woman is the uh, key to your abundance. Uh, so you don't realize, realize that you are destroying your own future. You see how the world works? But in the end, guess what? That woman you're trying to destroy, the universe is going to make sure that somebody else comes in and takes care of them. Make sure that, they're, make sure that they are doing fine. That they get to where they need to go. And you have to have a front row seat. And watch that woman move on in life and thrive and build that ten of pentacles by themselves and partner up with people that are like-minded as herself and just do ridiculously amazing in life. Okay, so that's your karma. Look at you out here sad. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, brother, but you sure made a bed for yourself partnering up with this ridiculous creature. Um, I don't know what she told you or how much money she gave you. I don't know if she slept with you or something. It either had to be a lot of money or maybe the SES was real good because maybe you couldn't pay me enough money. Ain't no type of game you can put on me that I'm about to go out here to help you block anybody's destiny. I don't give two Fs what's going on with you. I don't care how much money you say you stand to lose. If this person reaches their destination, that's your business. Go figure it out. I ain't helping you. People don't think that way. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.